Let's be honest guys, we didn't choose the dongle life, the dongle life chose us, and it's an unfortunate reality of the current laptop market. You are more than likely going to need some kind of dongle at some stage. So a little while ago, I spent hours and hours researching and reading reviews about some of the top USB-C hubs on the market compatible with all Macs, including the new M1 Macs. Now, if you aren't familiar with Anchor, they are one of the largest and most trusted accessory manufacturers out there. And I've been using their products without issue for years, including with both my personal and work MacBooks. Now, my previous USB dock was pretty crappy and only had a few ports. So I wanted to upgrade to something that could output to a 4K display, read SD cards and micro SD cards, give me ethernet, and most importantly, charge my MacBook at the same time. I just want to be able to plug a single cable into my Mac to dock it. Needless to say, I found my perfect hub and in this video, I'm going to show you why. So stay tuned. Starting off with price, it's around 50 US dollars. You can certainly find cheaper hubs out there, but the majority of them are cheap name branded ones that have questionable reviews. If I'm going to be using this thing to charge my brand new M1 MacBook Pro, I wanted to spend a little bit extra to guarantee I'm getting something of quality. Speaking of quality, sorry guys, you probably just want to take a closer look at this thing already. Let's go ahead and unbox it then. So here it is, the Anchor USB-C hub. Now I'm excited to test this out because I've had really good success with Anchor in the past specifically with Mac related stuff and iPhones. I've always really used the Anchor brand and I've never really been let down yet. So let's unbox this and see what we get inside. So we get some instruction manuals and stuff there. I suppose we won't bother with that. And there is the actual hub itself. So you can see there, it's really not that big. Like I've got pretty big hands, but it's only really the size of about half of the palm of my hand. So if we take this out, the bottom is plastic, but the top is actually like a metallic -y. I believe that is a metal. So it's a really nice finish. Feels really solid, got a bit of weight to it. You can see there, that's how you connect it to your Mac, just a USB-C cable. And then there is the actual ports and device itself. So you can see on one side, you have two USB 3.0 ports. On this side, you have an ethernet cable to connect your Mac to uh, your router or whatever. And then on the side, we have a HDMI port, a micro SD card, and just a standard SD card slot, and also a USB-C PD input. So theoretically, this should let us actually charge our laptop from this single port. So let's connect everything up to this bad boy and we'll see how it performs on the Mac. Forgot to mention as well, in the packaging, you get this nice little case. It's kind of just like a fake Alcantara leather. So it just opens up like that. Nice little kind of carrying pouch if you are so inclined to use that. I personally won't, so I'll probably just chuck it out. Okay, so first of all, let's just see how much I actually have attached to this Anchor USB-C hub. So starting closest to me, we have the Samsung T5 one terabyte SSD. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with this drive, I'll link it up in the top right hand corner. It's actually one of the drives I recommend for this particular machine. You can also go up a level and get the T7, which is a bit quicker, but this is a very good sort of entry level external SSD. So this is just connected via a USB cable straight into the port. We've also got a ethernet cable and that's working totally fine. I'm getting speeds on this just as quick as I am on my Windows computer, so there's no issues there at all. I also have just the typical MacBook Air USB-C charger here, and that's connecting into the Anchor hub and going into the computer, and it is charging the Mac. And then you can't quite see it, but I do have a micro SD card. I'll see if I can lift it up a bit. I do have a micro SD card in there, uh, and that's been reading fine, no issues at all, even while the T5 is connected. And then lastly, we have a HDMI port, and that is connecting my MacBook Air to my 4K Dell monitor with no issues at all. And I obviously just have one spare USB port, just in case I need to plug something else in. But as it is right now, there's absolutely no issues. 
It is a little bit warm, but it's definitely not hot. Like I can hold it, there's no issues. It's just a bit warm. It's not red hot like some of the other hubs can get. So no issues there at all. So this is a pretty typical setup. In fact, this is actually how I worked at my last office job for the last two years. Now, definitely do recommend having a laptop stand, especially a metal one like this. It's definitely a lot better for really hot laptops. Uh, I'll have this one linked in the description. It's my favorite one. It's off Amazon. Now, all I need to do is in the mornings when I come in or whenever I need to use my MacBook on my setup, I just put it there on the stand open the screen and it wakes up and then literally just this one cable from the hub I just plug in and it'll take a second or two for the screen to come up but then that's literally it so I'm getting power I've got USB I've got Ethernet I've got SD cards micro SD cards pretty much anything you could want just from this one relatively cheap dock off Amazon so what we'll do now guys is I'll actually take you inside the computer and I'll show you a bit more about this particular drive and we'll make sure that everything is working okay Okay guys, so let me just quickly show you how this particular hub performs on my MacBook Air. So first of all, coming up here to charging, you can see it's charging without any issues. Now you'll probably notice that it's taking a little bit longer than usual to fully charge the battery. And that's just because A, I have lots of things plugged into this hub and B, the actual wattage of the hub isn't quite as good as just the standalone charger. So it won't charge quite as quick as if you had just plugged the MacBook charger directly into the Mac. But again, I've never had any issues with that. And if you do need to charge the Mac quicker, you can just unplug the charger from the hub and plug it directly into the Mac. There won't be any issues. Moving on to Wi-Fi, you can see I actually don't have Wi-Fi turned on. So if we come into Chrome, and if we just go to say apple.com, you can see the internet loads totally fine, no issues. Now I did do a speed test on this before and I was seeing the exact same speeds as I did on my Windows PC when I plugged the same ethernet cable directly into the back of the motherboard at the back of the PC. No issues at all, exact same speeds I was getting on the Mac. So that's really good to see. Now moving on to drives and SD cards and the like. If we open up my micro SD card and I open up some diving footage from a couple of weeks ago, you can see that it loads fine, it plays fine. Uh, there's absolutely no issues, even scrubbing the timeline uh, works very, very well. So there's obviously no issues with reading and writing or opening up files on this drive. And what we'll also do now is we'll do a Blackmagic speed test on the Samsung T5 drive and we'll see if we're getting the same speeds as we would if it was plugged directly into the Mac. So what we'll do first of all is we will select the Samsung T5 SSD. This is the one terabyte version and we're going to start this speed test. And as you can see there, we're getting exactly the same speeds as we would if it was plugged directly into the Mac. So about 340 megabytes per second write speed and the read speed is gonna be around 320. Now this isn't necessarily the quickest drive out there. If you get the Samsung T7, it's a bit more expensive, but it's also much faster. But as you can see here, this particular T5 is gonna be fast enough for 99% of things you need to use it for. And again, guys, I'll link both of those in the description for you if you wanna check them out on Amazon. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video and also checking out the Anchor USB-C hub. I've been using it for a few days now and I have to say it really does work very well. I have seen my fair share of USB-C hubs over the years and for the price of this one, for what you get and the performance, it is a pretty good deal. Now guys, I swear I'm not an anchor shill, nothing like that. I don't get paid by them. This isn't a sponsored video. I bought it with my own money to test. And the reason I bought it is because I've been using anchor products for a few years, never had any issues, always good warranty, good support. So I'm a very happy customer. So I decided to test this one out for all of you. Now I can say that I've tested it and it is fully 100% compatible with the 2020 M1 MacBook Air, the 2020 M1 MacBook Pro, and also the 2020 M1 Mac Mini. No issues at all, they all work perfectly fine. So guys, link in the description if you are interested in checking it out. As you know, I won't recommend anything to you unless I thoroughly test it and I like it myself. So this one has the Created Labs seal of approval and I will obviously continue to be testing other hubs and docks and cables and whatnot on this channel, so stay tuned. Apart from that, I'll see you guys in the next one.